Hi everybody, welcome to Tech Tips. So today's video is about how to create an Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So let's get started. So currently I'm in Azure portal. So if you guys doesn't know how to create an Azure free account, check out our last video. I'll just add that in our description. So in the home page of Azure portal, you'll be able to see a button called create a resource. So click on that and search for storage account. Click on it. Click on create. Yeah, so now we have to provide the required information. We can see the subscription as free trial. And if you already have a resource group, you can select it from the list. So currently I do not have any, so I have to create new. So I'm gonna click on create new and provide a resource group name. Click on okay. Yeah, and we also have to provide the instance details. In that we have to provide the storage account name. Yeah. Okay, it can contain only the lower case. Yeah, so I'm gonna add it. And region, I'm gonna select Asia Pacific, South India. Performance, I'll keep it as standard. And redundancy, I'll just make it as locally redundant. Click on next. In the advanced tab, if we scroll down, you'll be able to see data lake storage gen 2. So if it's a normal storage account, this should be good. But since we are going to create Azure data lake storage gen 2, so we have to enable this hierarchical namespace. So I'm going to check this and click on next. So I'm going to leave networking and other information as default. And if you want to provide any tags, you can provide that and go to the section review and create. So the validation of past and we can click on create. So the deployment is in progress now. Just gonna take a couple of minutes. Yeah, so deployment is complete. So we can go to the resource. So yeah. This is our new data lake storage gen 2 and we can see that our hierarchy namespace is enabled and we have containers click on container we can create a test container you can start uploading the files in that so we have an upload option here so yeah you can further start exploring on this one yeah that's it for today uh, thanks for watching tech tips and keep watching tech tips videos and we'll come back with another video soon thank you bye